What's up guys, it's Lionel the Builder back again with another video. It's about three hours away from my presentation and I told you guys I was gonna reveal the project that I've been working on this entire time. What I've been talking about, our startup, it's a ship repair project management app and I was rehearsing my presentation to our stakeholders and the team and I thought in my head like, man, why don't I just do this live? And show you guys so i'm going to reveal the startup that i've been working on for the past six months as we prepare here to launch sometime next week um everything's still in staging we're going to move it over to production and the world here pretty soon um it's still in alpha phase you know so there's going to be some bugs in there and i'm going to just i still have like three hours to fix lingering stuff but i still thought this would be a cool like turning into a video since I was rehearsing anyway. Now I'm not gonna do the initial login phase, creation of account and stuff. I'm gonna skip that part because you know I have to we were paying to send text messages and stuff. So but we're gonna just jump right into it without any further ado. Um this is actually the back end. Let me grab my browser that's actually part of it. I think it's yes yeah, this one. Okay so this is here it is it's kill block um wait let me fix let me fix my background this is probably better there you go okay so and also i guess i'm good i'm fine right here um actually let me put myself over here so you can see my little support um thing down here i made this too all right so so this is kill block um Dot com and it's a Navy project management app um, like I said I'm, I'm skipping over the initial login part but what it basically is is for ship repair it's for tracking the um, projects that you're um, that happen on a ship like if they're rebuilding something or like painting a wall or like you know building something right so it's, it's very simple we're solving one simple problem and then we're gonna build up from there um so we have three ships here as you can see um, let's click into one and these things here are called work items um, you have your personnel over here you click this drop down here you select personnel I'm gonna add more users here before the presentation but let's say let's grab Isaiah the ship fitter click add and you can add him to the personnel there um, and that's him adding to him him to this work item now here's all the work breakdown here you got perform rip outs and then as you do the progress here this is supposed to update um, let me drop it down and see if that changes it. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna have to see why the why that isn't uh, propagating. Let's now that you've seen, I'm gonna move myself over to the right because as you can see, we also have a little support um, here, and this emails to our help desk. So, but yeah, let me slide over here. So this is supposed to update. I don't know why this, I think that's the only one where it's not updating. I'm gonna look into that. Let's check this one over here and see what happens if we, yeah, why isn't that? Hmm, okay, let me write that down. <laughs> Cause I need to definitely see what's up with that. Progress, um, progress percentage. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and create a new one so that, because these are all, we're like, we're from the demo anyway. Let's create a new project. We're gonna name it test project. We're gonna give it a test number, one, two, one, two, one, two. Location, test, location, customer, test, customer. I'm just filling in random stuff here. Um, let's, let's drop a date in here, let's drop this in here and then I know that the picture doesn't work um, that's another thing I need to fix it's it says here but when you click save the picture is not gonna pop up but that's fine I'm gonna fix that I, I know exactly what to do for that all right so here's a new project let's create a work item Test work item 
require tools so then you add the tools that you want so let's say like hammer a uh, screwdriver you know so then you, you see what like tools you need consumables uh, that's like nails uh, I don't know paint you add different stuff to the work item right materials that's probably actually nails and paint would be more materials but let's put toilet paper in here uh, toilet paper something else um, and then you go to create work item and then it pops up here now within here if you click resources see this is everything that we're using for the project personnel you go add we could drop personnel in here who are gonna be working on this thing and then you go to the tasks for the personnel so we got clean up task number one the ship fitter is gonna be the lead we're gonna put 111 hours and now we're gonna put a sub task um, clean up toilet I don't know sweet floor will be one sweet floor save the subtasks and then it pops over here and now if you change the progress it updates okay so the new ones will update so I need to take a look at this and take a look at that and see why um yeah new ones update hmm fine but the ones that are like grandfathered in from the demo are the ones that aren't working um let's create another one real quick I'm just gonna put anything in here just to like make sure that you know this also works fine so we drop another like 10% in here and it's saved it's saved as well right okay cool I'm not sure if that math is correct oh I, I think it's also judging by there being other projects hmm. okay so as you can see I gotta get you know get back on it uh, pretty soon because we're getting ready to present but um I'm also there's also more users I'm gonna add I'm gonna add our uh, portfolio or profile pictures in there very simple thing you know I just wanted to take this opportunity to like show you guys what I've been working on um, I'm still working on it as you can see but oh so the settings page as well we got um, you know here you can change your password and here this is your profile this is another page that I had to build you know people don't you don't think about that I didn't think about that until I started working as a full stop dev that you actually have to build the settings page it's not like a theme or something that you just pop in I mean you, you can but anyway team members so from here you can invite the user and then uh, email will go will go out inviting a user and then they verify the email and complete the like multi-factor authentication and the SMS. I fixed all of that stuff. This is where you can also offboard a user or reset their password if you are an admin. And then workspace is how we will be able to switch different ships or different companies. Say you have like more than one, you're gonna have different names of them here. And yeah that's pretty much that's speeding through it um only the front end you know the back end would be a whole nother like presentation um this is just the very base keeping it simple solve one thing as we onboard customers but there's a whole bunch of new like down the line improvements and, and stuff that we have um that we have in the future that we're planning um but i just wanted to take the opportunity to show you guys what I've been working on I know I've been talking about it all the time and like coming here when I was struggling when I was stuck on stuff which seeing that I was able to do that in just nine minutes and that pretty much I kind of sped through I'm gonna do more rehearsing because I feel like you know I need to be sharper and, and stuff um and I definitely want to like see why the progress here is not updating I'm very glad that, that I ran through that this is a good way I feel like I also want to get our um, profile pictures popping up in here as well um, get some pictures 
and there to make it look a little better. Another thing is like, it's not mobile responsive at the moment. As you can see, when you, you drop it down, our header get, gets messed up. So it's a, it's a lot of work to do. Um, most of my work has been done more so in the back end, creating like the cloud functions to make this stuff run properly. And also like, um, what else have they doing? You know, little, little, little stuff like that. Um, but as you could probably tell, I'm nervous. I'm nervous as heck because like, <laughs> uh this is this is it you know um this is me showing them the stakeholders and stuff what i have been doing for the past five months so um when, when i got this thing as an mvp it was pretty much like just a pretty face like it could have been made in canva almost it's basically like a demo pitch deck no error handling um not really many cloud functions written the entire document structure of the back end had to be rewritten that is really what took a lot of time was we got rid of personnel was not an actual like it would be tough for me to explain it but person if you don't know about sub collections and, and you know how a database structure is long story short i just had to reconfigure the entire back end which is going to be hard for me i feel like to explain to the stakeholders how much work that was and how i literally had to it was almost like i had to rebuild this entire thing from scratch i almost want to tell them like however much you paid and waited for the original person to build the demo you have to um, you have to know that i basically had to go back and rebuild it again myself every single file had to be changed because i had to change the file structure basically so um you know that that's where we're at that's what we're doing and i'm gonna tackle these uh issues here that i have to solve but again i thought that this would be a great opportunity for me to like show you guys and and y'all can see it now you're gonna see it evolve from here as we go further be on the lookout for at killbot.com it's not open to the public you kind of have to be invited to to be a part of this project but you know still um i wanted to show you guys and wish us luck wish us success i'm lionel the builder man keep building i'll see y'all next time peace